This is one of the violations the city is slapping on the woman who owns this property. They're fining her nearly $73,000 for operating an illegal rental. But there are simple ways you can stay on the right side of city regulation. We try to speak with a woman the city accuses of running a short-term rental out of her home without a license. But she's in no mood to talk. Are you running an illegal Airbnb uh, place here? Tom Nagar asking city council for lenience on behalf of the homeowner, his mom knew Nilly, as they fine her nearly $73,000 for renting out her house on Silver Avenue on sites like Airbnb and HomeAway. My mom makes sure to screen every guest, letting them know that letting them know both on the phone and on the listing that there's absolutely no parties, gatherings, events, loud music allowed at the house. The city says Neely made about $108,000 in revenue from March last year through last month. The code enforcement officer actually went out there 22 different times to make contact at the property. City officials say Neely applied for a short-term rental license at least twice but failed. She knew that she was not supposed to be operating as well. She thinks that she should be able to break the law and profit from that. I think that people who don't follow the law should be penalized. The city posting on its website guidelines for doing short-term rentals, that is rentals for 30 days or fewer, the right way. First, you must secure a permit. You must obey noise, parking, and trash regulations, and you cannot rent out the property for parties, weddings, or other special events. The city has more information on short-term rentals. We'll have a link to it on our website. Christopher King, 13 Action News.